auctions can be uh, used both in a day ahead exchange. They can also be used in a real time balancing stage. So we think we have a day ahead market where we get generators lined up. It's important to have a day ahead market because we have a number of generating resources that don't ramp quickly. And we want our base load coal to be able to get fired up and ready to go. So having the day ahead auction gets our resources in place for our anticipated demand the next day. Well, there's always a difference between what we forecast yesterday and what happens today. And the way to manage that can be to hold a real-time procurement auction for the difference between what was procured yesterday and what we need for today. And if we do that, uh, auctions can be held for real-time grid balancing in uh, fine increments during a day, and resources that are not committed or are committed but not needed can adjust at the margin uh, based on the outcome of the real-time auction. And winning bidders in the real-time auction will receive the difference between the quantity offered in the real-time auction minus the quantity that was committed in the day-ahead auction times the price in the real time in the real time market so what they're getting is the difference in the quantity between the day ahead market and the real time market multiplied by today's price and that compensates uh, that compensates sources that had a bid accepted in the real time market and then a different bid accepted, uh, I mean a bid accepted in the day ahead market and then a different amount that was actually required in the real time market. The, the payment that's made is the difference in quantity times the price in the real time market. Um, and one interesting and helpful characteristic of having a day ahead and a real-time market is the presence of both of these markets provides an opportunity for hedging risks between today and tomorrow. Uh, so parties can reduce their risks uh, by hedging the differences between today and tomorrow's prices. Um, so uh, opportunities for arbitrage like this, so what, what a company can do is um, uh, make a bid in a day ahead market and um, if, if I think that the price tomorrow is going to be uh, more than indicated in the day ahead market today, I'm going to want to go long in the market and I will have extra electricity to sell the next day. If I think the price is going to be lower next period um, than um, the outcome of the day ahead market today, I will want to short, I will want to short electricity today and buy it tomorrow at the lower price. And, the, and this hedging incentive that firms have first gives everyone really good incentive to try to have a good forecast of tomorrow's electricity demand relative to today's, but also gives people incentive to trade on the basis of that information, which would tend to bring the prices of today's and tomorrow's markets closer together based on the incentive to have the best available information, the best available forecast for tomorrow's demand. If you know the demand will be lower in the real time than, than is forecast, then sell in the day ahead market, buy in the real time market, and your good forecast pays you a dividend. 
and in the process you have smooth prices based on your better forecast. You have, you have um, brought today's price down closer to what it ought to be and um, your ability to buy in the real-time market is going to be pushing those prices up. So your better information about electricity demand forecast is actually bringing today's and tomorrow's prices closer together.